Well, everyone, there's some very interesting stuff going on with the Google Pixel 8a, and I'm very, very excited about it. And there's a lot of things that we're going to have to kind of cover in order for us to kind of get it and kind of paint a good picture of what this particular device is going to look like. Now, the first thing and the biggest thing that we've basically seen about the Google Pixel 8a is the fact that this thing is going to be coming out in a lot of different colors. So this is something that I actually like a lot about Google phones kind of sometimes, but especially with their A series, they've been kind of boring. There's only been like one or two colors you can choose from them. With the Pixel 8a, it looks like Google is going to take a very different approach by this, which I, I'm actually looking very much forward to. So the thing with the Google Pixel 8a is that this particular device could end up coming out in a few different you know, colors. It's going to come out in bay, mint, obsidian, and porcelain. Now these colors kind of look like a light lime green, a plain white color, a black color, and then kind of a blue color, which is very, very reminiscent inside of the Google Pixel XL and the Google Pixel, the original one. So that was something that was very interesting going on here, that Google was kind of paying homage, it seems like, to a little bit to that original Pixel. Now, inside of it, we could probably assume that the inside, you know, chipset is probably going to be a variation of the Tensor G3 chipset that we had inside of our, you know, previous Google Pixel. So I think that in of itself is going to be a very important thing going on for this particular device. I do think that price tag is still going to be roughly probably less than $600. The Pixel 7a was $499. I'm really hoping Google keeps it at that same price tag because if they go through and increase that price tag by an insane amount, that is going to be a major, in my opinion, a major turnoff for that particular device. I doubt you want to go ahead and have some sort of a device that's going to be, you know, more expensive. And I really hope Google doesn't end up doing that here. Another big thing is that it's probably going to have somewhat around a 6.1 inch full HD panel. It's still going to be 90 hertz, so it's going to be a 1080p 90 hertz display, which is probably still going to be good enough for a lot of people. Hopefully that's good enough because it's a very good, decent display. It's still probably going to have 8 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is actually really good. Once again, having 8 gigabytes of RAM is a very, very, you know, good. It's a good amount of RAM to have inside of a device. And I would be more than happy to kind of have that type of layout inside of this particular phone as well. And finally, it's probably going to have about a 4,500 million power battery inside of it as well, which again is another really cool advantage for this particular phone because it's going to be, you know, I'm really hoping it's not going to have a higher price, but it looks like it's probably going to have a higher price. And it does kind of look like it is going to be a better phone overall. So with that higher price, you are getting a better phone, which I'm actually very kind of happy about, but you know, I'd rather have it, you know, the same price, but overall, those are some really good upgrades coming from the previous generation of Pixel. And I'm actually looking forward to this phone actually coming out. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.